All right, we're just gonna start to breathe through the nose. Filling that space behind the heart all the way up. And every single exhale, we're gonna let something go. So we'll see how long we can hold on to each breath. See if you can really, really commit to coming into this moment, coming into the body. I think we often think we can be in two places at once. We think we can be here and be present and also be thinking about what we have to do later today or what happened yesterday or what's going to happen tomorrow. But we can't, we can't fully be in two places at once. So see if you can be fully right here, right now with this breath. Notice how you can create that feeling of timelessness just by letting all the troubles, all the to-dos, putting them on hold, not allowing them to exist right now. Just creating this space to get quiet, to be still, Stay with your breath, bring your hands under your shoulders and round it up. Lift your booty up first and then round it up. Inhale, drop the belly, shine the heart forward. Exhale, round it all the way up to kneeling. Let your head stay heavy, let your arms stay heavy. Chin on tucks, heart lifts, shoulders draw down the back. Inhale, the arms up, interlace your fingers, glue your palms together and reach up out of the waist. Exhale, soften the shoulders away from the ears. Drop your arms to the right. Try to keep them straight. Try to keep your palms glued. Feel the back of your neck lengthening as you tuck the chin just a little bit. Feel something let go as you soften on the exhale. Come back to center, root to rise. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, drop it to the left. Try to keep the arms straight. Try to keep your gaze steady and soft. Slowly come back up. Lower your hands back down to the ground. Push back like child's pose. And then slide out onto the belly. Press the feet into the mat. Peel the heart up on the inhale. Exhale, lower back down. Three more just like that. Press into the feet. Inhale to lift the heart. Hug the elbows in and back. Hold on to this breath. Exhale, lower down. Take your time. See if you can lift a little higher this time, pressing into the feet. Pull the heart forward with the hands. Fill all the way up and then take one more sip. Exhale, slowly lower down. One more time, make it the deepest, slowest breath. Maybe you start to straighten into the arms a little bit. Exhale, lower down. Come up to your hands and your knees and round it out. Step your knees in just a little bit more so you can really round it out. Inhale, drop the belly, shine the heart forward. Exhale, round it all the way up to kneeling. Root down into the knees, reach the arms up. Interlace the fingers, glue the palms. Drop it to the left first this time. Slowly come back to center, drop your arms to the right. Slowly come back to center, lower your hands down to your low back, point your fingers up, wrap the elbows a little closer together, really start to open the heart and find a little supported backward bend, pressing the hips forward, lifting through the heart, let something go. And release, press your knees, sit bones back to your heels like child's pose, and then slide out onto the belly, untuck your toes. Now reach your hands forward, straightening the arms, 
but then draw your shoulders back just a little bit so you're not fully extended. Rest the forehead down on the mat, press into the feet, inhale, lift the arms up. Keep exhaling to soften through the shoulders. We're really reaching through the fingers, pressing through the feet. Now lift the head up too. Press into the feet, find a little more length on the inhale, a little more softness on the exhale. If this isn't too much already, lift the feet up now. Reach back through the toes. Inhale to lengthen one more time. Bring the hands under the shoulders. Press it back to child's pose. And lift the wrists up. Coming up on tented fingertips here. Stay with this breath as long as you can. Now release those hands down. Start to walk them forward. Lift your booty up. Stack the hips right over the knees. And then walk the hands forward more like puppy pose. Let your forehead come down to rest. Settle in here. See if you can find this one point of focus, making it all about this breath. Your only thought is, can I stay with this breath a little bit longer? Can I soften and let go a little more on the exhale? And then you see if you can come to a place where that's just happening without any effort, just allowing that to happen. Maybe you lift the wrists up here and come on those tented fingertips for the last couple of breaths. Bring the hands under the shoulders, bring the knees together, curl the toes under. We're going to sit back on the heels, opening the arch of the feet. At the same time, we're going to stretch out the wrists and forearms. So reach your hands forward, palms face out, thumbs face down. Stack the right hand on top of the left. Interlace your fingers. Draw your hands in, up, and then out, trying to draw them down a little bit. All right. So inhale a little more length into your spine. Exhale a little more softness through your face and your shoulders. Let something go on the exhale. Slowly release, we'll shake it out a little bit. And then we'll switch, reach the hands out, palms face out, thumbs face down. Now left over right. Hands in, up and out. Don't forget to soften on each exhale. Keep your gaze steady and soft or close your eyes. Slowly release, shake it out. Bring your hands to the mat, pat the feet out. Now press into the hands to shine the heart forward a little bit, lengthen through the back of the neck, and then look forward. Maybe the chin can get parallel to the ground here. One more time, press into the hands, shine the heart forward, roll the shoulders back, and really slowly turn to gaze over the right shoulder. See if you can gaze, gaze even a little past the right shoulder. Maybe you can see back to that right hip. Slowly come back to center and let the head hang down for a second. Let something go there. Now press into the hands and slowly lift the chin up so it's parallel with forward. Slowly gaze over the left shoulder and beyond. Slowly come back to center, let the head hang down. And now curl the toes and lift the knees a couple inches. And we're gonna slowly start to make big circles, pressing back kind of like we're coming towards down dog, but then rolling forward kind of like we're coming to plank, but we're keeping the knees bent. And then we drop them almost all the way down to the mat. And again, press the booty back and up, making big circles here. Let your head stay heavy. Let your breath stay deep. Press into the fingers and knuckles a little bit more. Now we're going to switch directions. So the knees draw forward and come up.
Now we're going to settle into downward facing dog, starting to sink into the heels. If you need to pedal it out or sway the hips first, feel free. Slowly walk the feet forward to meet the hands. Inhale to lift up halfway. And exhale to fold. Notice if your mind is trying to hijack this moment like it will do over and over again. And just say no thank you. Use this breath as the invitation to go inward and to stay right here just a little bit longer. Tuck your chin, bend your knees, inhale here. Arms and head stay heavy, press into the feet. Keep the knees bent. Feet come all the way up. As you straighten into the legs, lift the heart. Roll the shoulders back. Now we're just gonna bounce around a little bit. All right, maybe you're jumping around. Maybe you're just bending the knees. Just getting some chi moving, okay? A lot of what yoga does is just getting the energy moving in the body. Thinking about our body like a conduit where sometimes energy gets a little stuck. If you feel stuck anywhere, bring your breath there. Maybe even use your hands to hit there anywhere where you feel a little stuck energy. See if you can stay with your breath still deep and slow through the nose. And now find stillness with your lower body, but just really start to shake your hands hard and fast. Keep your gaze steady and soft. A couple more seconds, a little harder, a little faster. And then bring your hands by your sides and close your eyes. You feel this energy pulsing out through your palms. And just imagine that as we clear this conduit. We're going to feel more of that life energy coming up the feet all the way up the spine. See if you can invite that in. And anytime you feel stuck, see if you can use your awareness and intention to bring this life energy, this prana, this life force to any of those spots. All right. Inhale, reach up out of the way, squeeze your palms, lift up, press into the feet, exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, lift up halfway, and exhale, fold. Spread your feet as wide as your hips. If you happen to have a block, go ahead and grab it. If not, no worries, you don't really need it. Um, if you have one, you'll grab it and you'll reach your arms forward. If you don't have one, just reach your arms forward and pretend you have one, okay? See if you can bend your knees enough to get your whole body touching your legs. And then squeeze the block or the imaginary block together. Keep looking down. Soften the shoulders out of the ears. Start to really press into the feet. And then exhale, lift the hips and fold forward. Inhale, come right back into it. Lower the booty, reach the block forward. Exhale, stand up, bring the block to your heart or just the hands to the heart. Inhale, press the booty back. Exhale, fold, lift the hips. See if even in this simple move, inhale, bring that arms forward. Exhale, stand up. If you can be fully present, kind of that beginner's mind, feeling like you're feeling this for the first time instead of feeling bored. Exhale, fold, lift the hips. Take your time. If you want to go a little slower than me, feel free. Exhale, stand up, hands to heart. Inhale, bend the knees, place the belly on the thighs. Exhale, fold, lift the hips. One more time. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, stand it up. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, fold, set the block down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step the right foot back, lower the right knee down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower the hands, step back to plank. Lower through chaturanga. Meeting back in downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale here on the exhale, shift your gaze, bend your knees, walk or hop to the top. Inhale, lift up halfway and exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, press into the feet, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart and hands down by your sides. One breath per move, one more time. Inhale, arms up. Stay with your breath. Use your whole exhale to swan dive. Belly in and up, out of the way. Fold a little deeper, empty all the air. 
Inhale, lift up halfway, hold on to it a little longer. Exhale, step the left foot back, lower the left knee down. Use your whole inhale to rise up, fill up. Maybe find a little backward bend. Hands to mat, step back, exhale as you lower down. Inhale, lift to upward facing dog or baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Settle in here for another breath. Maybe open mouth, exhale, letting it all go here. Shift your gaze up between your hands, bend your knees and walk or hop to the top. Inhale, lift up halfway and exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, come all the way up. Reach the hands up, interlace your fingers, glue the palms together, making that one big fist. Press down into the left foot, lift the right knee up. Drop the hands over that right knee, hug it in and up. Grow visibly taller on the inhale, visibly softer on the exhale. Bend the left knee a little bit. Open the right knee out to the side. We'll come into tree pose. All right, maybe you can place the foot up high on the thigh. Maybe you need to lower the toes to the ground like a little kickstand. Bring your hands to the heart. Keep rooting down into that left foot to grow taller. Keep using your exhale to soften. Feel this energy moving through your body. Notice anywhere it might feel stuck. Maybe you can scoop the hips forward and let the knee fall back and really open that hip and invite that energy to move through there a little more. If you wanna challenge the balance, you can reach up or look up or sway in the wind a little bit. But keep that gaze steady and soft. Make it all about this breath. And every time you can remember to say no thank you to that little thought train, see if you can celebrate that. See if you can find a little smile and a little gratitude for your ability to focus and stay present here. Okay, now we're gonna lift the right knee up and open it back a little more. Keep the deep, keep the bend in the left knee, step it all the way back, warrior one. Bring the hands to the hips. You might need to take a little wider step. Press the left knee forward. If it goes over the ankle, take a wider step. All right, draw the left hip back. Press down into the feet. Grow a little taller. Reach up out of the waist. Don't forget to soften the shoulders down on the exhale. Soften your gaze. Be right here. See if you can fully, fully occupy your body in this pose. See if you can just allow this pose to be what it is without deciding whether you like it or not. All right, now open it up, warrior two, and feel as you open that right hip up, the tendency of the left knee to fall in. Don't let it move it back out towards the pinky toe side. Gaze over your left fingertips. Soften the shoulders down. Shift the hips back, reach forward, triangle pose. It's just one breath, don't miss it. Gaze up at the right hand, roll the right shoulder back. Stay right here, press the left knee forward, bending into the left knee, finding extended side angle. Bring your right arm up alongside the ear and create one nice long line of energy through the whole right side. Scoop the hips forward towards that long edge of the mat, but peel the right hip back a little bit. Reach through the fingers, soften the shoulders out of the ears. On the inhale, reverse it, keep the deep bend in the left knee. Reach all the way up and back. Cartwheel hands down. And then walk your hands over towards the right. Come to a wide leg forward fold. Inhale to lift up halfway. Exhale to fold. Walk your hands forward like a wide leg forward fold. I mean like a wide leg downward facing dog. Yeah. So let your head be heavy. Press your hands in. Just like down dog with the fingers spread wide, hands shoulder width distance apart. Now start to melt the heart down towards the middle of the mat. Sink into the heels, maybe even lifting the toes up. Imagine every inhale you're inviting that breath to come through this conduit, to open things up. And on that exhale, you're just allowing that breath, that prana, to help everything soften. 
why is my internet unstable? I have the best internet you can possibly get. I don't know what goes on around here. Very strange. Walk your hands back under the shoulders. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Walk your hands to that left foot. Turn all your toes to face forward. Shoot the left foot up and back, three-legged dog. Okay, so flex that left foot. Point the toes down, reach back through the heel. Sink into the right heel a little bit. Press into the hands a little more. Now slowly curl that left heel in towards the glute, bending that knee. And then start to lift the left knee like you're gonna pee on a fire hydrant. Try to stack the hips here as you keep lifting that knee up. Keep your head heavy. Keep sinking into the right heel. If your left arm is lifting up, try to lower it back down to keep your chest square. Slowly come back up, three-legged dog, come up on the tippy toes. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose and step it through like crescent. Exhale, hinge forward, reach the arms back. Step the right foot forward to meet the left. Sweep the arms forward, grab the block or imaginary block. Lower your booty, rest the body on the thighs. Squeeze the block, pull the belly in, exhale, pull and lift the hips. Inhale, bend the knees, reach it forward. Exhale, stand up, hands to heart. Move with your breath now, really slow, really intentionally. If you're fully, fully occupying the body with this breath, you won't feel bored at all. You'll feel really alive. Find this nice balance of effort and ease, using a lot of strength, using a lot of focus, but not forcing it, not feeling any tension, not feeling any pressure. One more time, bend the knees, reach it forward. Exhale, fold, set the block down. Press into the feet and slowly round up, arms and head heavy. Straighten the legs as the heart lifts, shoulders roll down, inhale, arms up. Interlace fingers, glue the palms, reach up. Press the left foot down and lift the right foot up. No, press the right foot down, lift the left foot up. Hook that knee with the hands and hug it in and up. Root to rise, grow a little taller on the inhale. Grow a little softer on the exhale. Bend the right knee, open that hip, find that tree pose. Maybe after you set it up, you start to straighten the right leg, but not by locking it out and pressing it back, by lifting the quad up off of the knee. Bring the hands to the heart. Find your stillness here. Steady your gaze. Lift the left knee up. Open it up a little more. Bend the right knee. Step it back like warrior one. Readjust if you need to. Reach up out of the waist, press down into the feet. Just by using this inhale to lengthen and staying with it a little longer, just by using this exhale to soften and making it last just as long, you're choosing to be present. You're choosing not to be on autopilot and just to let the breath be something that happens automatically. You're choosing to actively participate in this process of life, in this prana coming into your body, in this life energy moving through you. Open it up to warrior two. Notice if your right knee collapsed in and move it back out. Sink in a little more. Find this balance of strength and surrender as you use the inhale to lengthen and the exhale to soften. Keep pressing into the feet as you lift the hips, press them back, reach forward, triangle pose, just one breath. And then press the right knee forward, extended side angle, left arm up alongside the ear. Use that leverage to twist the heart up towards the ceiling, draw the shoulder out of the ear, spiral the pinky towards the ground, find a little more length, keep pressing that knee straight out over the second top. Right knee doesn't move at all as you inhale, reverse it. Exhale, cartwheel hands down, come up on the back toes, walk the hands over to the left, find that wide leg forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, and exhale, fold. Grab your right ankle with your left hand. Reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. Now you can either pull your head down towards the ground 
Or you can keep your spine parallel to the ground and reach your crown of your head forward. Either way, try to find a real twist here. If you need to bend the knees, that's fine, but bend them evenly so your lower body is symmetrical. Hand to the small hip and really roll the shoulder back. Where you can soften and what you can let go of on the exhale. A little weight into the balls of the feet. Lift the sit bones up and some of this like it's all that matters. And release, bend the left knee and sweep the floor to the left. Bend the right knee, sweep the floor to the right. One more time to the left. And one more time to the right. Grab your left ankle with your right hand. Make the lower body symmetrical by bending the knees evenly if you need to bend. Reach the left hand up, maybe tuck it behind there, grab that hip. Find what works for you, either letting the head drop down or reaching the crown of the head forward. Find that twist as you roll the left shoulder back and gaze up. And release, bend the right knee, sweep the floor to the right. Bend the left knee, sweep the floor to the left. Sweep it to the right. One more time to the left. This time, sweep it to the right. Turn all the toes to face forward. Shoot the right foot up and back. Three-legged dog. Head is heavy. Flex that foot. Sink into the left heel. Keep pressing through the right heel as you slowly curl it in towards the glute. And then lift the right knee up and try to stack the hips. Keep the shoulders even. Keep the head heavy. Keep sinking into the left heel and really twist open. Slowly square the hips back out like three-legged dog. Come up on the toes. Exhale, knee to nose. Step it through like crescent lunge. Inhale, rise up. Sink in a little bit. Exhale, hinge forward. Reach the arms back. And then step the left foot forward. Lower the booty. Grab the block. Rest the upper body on the thighs. Reach the block forward. Press into the feet. Look down. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, reach it forward. Exhale, stand up, hands to heart. Inhale, bend the knees. Take your time. Exhale, fold. Next time you fold, set the block down. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step the right foot back. Coming into a low lunge here with your hands on the ground, shining your heart forward. Plant the right hand down, roll the left hand up and twist your heart open towards the ceiling. Soften the shoulders out of the ears, pull the belly in. Lower the right knee down, lift the upper body, bringing the left hand to the right thigh. Bend the left knee a little more, reach the right hand up. Curl the right toes under and lift up like reverse crescent. Keep bending into the left knee and reaching up through the right hand. And now slowly lower both hands down to frame the foot. And step the left foot back to plank and hold here. Lengthen through the back of the neck, puff up between the shoulders. Stay with this breath a little bit longer. Feel this energy moving through you. If there's anywhere it feels stuck, try to just soften there. Exhale, lift up, downward facing dog. Now slowly lower the elbows down to the ground. Let the head be heavy like dolphin pose. Maybe you walk your feet in a little bit closer. Keep rooting down through the elbows and pressing the forearms forward like you would stretch the mat. Soften the shoulders out of the ears. Walk or slide the feet back, come to forearm plank and lengthen out again. Find your breath, find your stillness, find your strength. All right, now we're gonna place the right hand under the shoulder and lift up to plank, plant the left hand under the shoulder. And then we're gonna lower back down, forearm plank. Come back up to plank. If you need to, lower the knees, lower back down. Stay with your breath. Now we're gonna switch directions. So next time you're in forearm plank, we'll move the left hand first and then the right. 
One more time. And then we're gonna lower the belly all the way down to the ground and press back into child's pose. You can have your knees together or your knees apart. Let your big toes touch. And see if you can inhale for five. See if you can recommit to staying out of the head right here in the body. And when you're ready, slowly come back up, downward facing dog. And shift your gaze up between your hands, bend your knees, walk or hop to the top. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step the left foot back, lower the left knee. No, don't lower the left knee. Just stay right here and shine the heart forward. Soften through the shoulders, plant the left hand, peel the right hand up. Twist the heart open, find more length on the inhale, more softness on the exhale, lower the left knee, slowly come up, right hand, left thigh, bend the right knee more, reach up, soften something, curl the back toes, lift up like reverse crescent, find your breath. Lower the hands to frame the foot, step back to plank and hold, find a little more length. Roll to the outside of the left foot. Reach the right hand up. Lift the hips a little higher. Reach the right arm up alongside the ear. Find a little more length. Step the right foot behind you. Flip it over. Reach through the fingers. Relax the head and neck a little more. Let something go right here, right now. Come back to plank. Optional vinyasa. Meeting back in downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple forward into plank, roll to the outside of the right foot, peel the left hand up, lift the hips a little higher, left arm up alongside the ear, find a little more length, step it back, flip it over, don't spill your water, reach through the fingers, slowly come back to plank, optional vinyasa, leading back in downward facing dog. Inhale through the nose, fill all the way up. Open up, exhale, see how it feels. Okay, now step your right foot in halfway between your hands and your left foot. Stay on the ball of the right foot. Kick your left foot up. See if you can just float those right toes off the ground an inch or two. Or maybe you're stacking the hips over the shoulders for a second. Maybe you can click your feet together in the air. Stay with your breath. Press into your fingers and knuckles. Keep your arms straight and strong. And then we'll switch, coming back to down dog, stepping the left foot in. Stay on the balls of the foot. Keep the right foot up. Just start by floating the left toes up a little bit. Then maybe coming up high enough to click those feet together or stack the hips over the shoulders for a second. When you're done, we'll come back to child's pose. This time, if you can, keep your knees together. If you can't get your forehead to the ground with your knees together, then spread your knees apart. Feel this life energy moving through you and just allow it to. See if you can find that place where instead of having to try to soften on the exhale, you're just allowing it to happen. Letting the yoga do its magic. All right, come up under the knees. We're going to do camel pose. Stack your knees. Over, stack your hips over your knees. So your knees are hip width distance, yeah? And then bring your hands to your low back. Maybe your 
fingers can point up. Wrap your elbows back a little closer together. Open the heart. Press your hips forward and drop your head back if it's all right with your neck. Now we're going to breathe really deep and slow, but only into the chest cavity. Fill the chest cavity all the way up and then take another sip and then soften and really let something go here. Slowly come back up, bring your knees together and sit your hips down on your heels. Slide your hands down to your knees. Now really tuck your tailbone under here and then tuck your chin all the way to your chest and really tighten into this little tiny ball. Stay right here if you like or find one little wave motion through the spine, kind of like cat cow. We're gonna do two more sets of camels, so come on up to the knees again, spreading them as wide as the hips. Maybe you're gonna to start to reach for the heels this time. Maybe you're just gonna grab one heel. Set it up first though. Imagine you're squeezing a block between your thighs. Scoop the hips forward, press the hips forward. Breathe into that chest cavity, fill it all the way up. Keep your gaze steady and soft. Allow this energy to move through you. Allow the yoga to help you to unstuck these areas of the conduit. Just by staying out of the way, just by not imposing your thoughts, your judgments, your preferences, on this moment, just allowing it to be what it is, is allowing this energy to move through you, to heal you, just by being present. Inhale, come up, knees together, hips to heels, hands to knees, tuck the tail, tuck the chin, squeeze it all in tight and stay here or wave it out one time. Okay. Come back up, one more camel pose. Knees as wide as the hips, hands to low back. Press it forward, lift the heart. Maybe you're grabbing the opposite heel now. Slowly come on up, knees together. Sit your hips on your heels. So your knees are together and your feet are together. You're gonna grab your heel with your full palm grip, thumb on the outside, and lean back a little bit and tuck the chin to the chest and roll into a tight little ball. Trying to touch the forehead to the knees. Trying to touch the top of the head to the mat right in front of the knees. And then rolling forward onto the top of the head. Pull on the heels, lift the hips. Breathe into that space behind the heart. Fill it all the way up and then take one more sip. Stay here on the exhale, but soften through the traps, the eyes, the shoulders. Slowly release. We come on up. And now we're just gonna sit onto the left hip and straighten the right leg out. Making this 90 degrees here. Kick out through the right heel, draw the toes back. Try to keep both sit bones grounding down and that left knee grounding down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Turn to face the right leg and then lengthen out. Grab whatever you can. And one more time, lengthen the spine, pull the heart towards the foot, level out the shoulders and then soften a little bit here. If you wanna let your head get heavy, you can. If you wanna keep the back of your neck long and keep pulling the heart towards the foot, you can. But stay with this breath. Keep your gaze fixed on something or your eyes closed. And notice how the pose is just, just part of it here. Allowing the pose to do its magic is another part of it. So staying out of your head. Staying in this moment. That not only allows this pose to be what it is and to benefit you in all the ways it can, it allows this moment in life and you to just be as you are without measuring you up or comparing you or deciding that your body should look differently than it does in this pose. everything right now as it is. I'm choosing to allow this energy of life to move through you. Mm 
Submit here for one more breath. Being right here in this simple beginner smile. Feel your shoulder the whole time. Release the left leg out. Bring the right foot in. And that knee. Kick through the left heel, draw the toes back, root into the sit bones and that right knee. Inhale, reach up. Turn to face that leg, lengthen out. Grab what you can. Lift the heart, lengthen the spine, pull the heart towards the foot, and then soften here. Slowly, gently release. We're going to bring the soles of the feet together, the heels about six to eight inches away from you. And we're just going to press the feet together and lift the heart up. So press the feet together more and see if that'll help you lower the knees down. You can stay right here or you can start to fold forward. Slowly come back up. Use your hands to bring the knees together. Grab your block so it's close by. And we'll come into a boat pose. So grab the back of your knees, lift your feet up. Squeeze your legs together, reach out through the balls of the feet, grab onto your block or your imaginary block. And just bring your hands to your heart or actually make one big fist if you don't have a block, yeah? And we're just gonna turn and twist, tap the block or, or the fists on the left. Come back to center, turn and twist, tap it on the right. Maybe your legs start to straighten, pull your belly in. Find your breath. Two more times to each side. Now your knees your chest up onto your back. And scrub your elbows around your knees. Low, tuck your chin a little bit. Draw your shoulders into the ground. Now squeeze the knees in a little more. Now try to get the lower vertebrae and the butt down on the ground. Now see if once you kind of have a hold, you can really just relax everything here and see where you feel stuck energy. See if you can soften there a little bit more. See if you can use your breath and your awareness to let that energy move through that spot. And now let the right leg go long, interlace the fingers around the left knee, kick out through the right heel. So lower the right leg all the way to the ground, but keep the toes drawing back towards the face. Now pull the left knee in towards the left armpit. Draw the shoulders into the ground, tuck the chin, hug the body with the elbows and really squeeze that knee in. But then try to just relax everything here. Once you have that vice clamped down, try to soften and allow this to happen. Now reach the sole of the left foot up towards the ceiling, grab the outside edge of the foot like half happy baby, pulling the foot straight down towards the knee, towards the ground, chin is still tucked, right heel still kicking out. And same thing, once you set it up, see what all you can soften and allow here.
All right, now we're gonna draw that left knee across the body with the right hand and find a spinal twist. You can straighten the left arm all the way up to the side, or you can bend it like my knee. Gaze out at that left hand. See if you can inhale for five. See if you can make the exhale just as long. See if once you set it up, you can really soften and allow this to happen without any effort at all. Do it, guys. One chance to let something go. Let this be the breath you've been waiting for. Let it all go. Come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Now let your left leg go long. Interlace your fingers around your right knee and hug it in. Kick through the left heel, tuck your chin, hug your elbows in, draw your shoulders down, squeeze that knee in. And once you have the vice clamp, soften and allow. Turn the sole of the foot up towards the like that edge of the foot, pull it down, head is down, chin is tucked, kick through the left heel, pull that knee down towards the ground. Now slowly draw the right knee across the body to the left hand, right arm straightens out to the side or bent at 90, gaze out over the right hand. Take a breath or two to really set it up and then let go. Let it happen. And release, hug your knees into your chest one last time. If you wanna come back into a plow pose or do take any one last pose your body's craving, feel free. If you'd rather just take a long Shavasana, go ahead and straighten your legs out. Listen to your body, stay with your breath. Whenever you're ready, you'll straighten the legs out and spread your feet as wide as the mat. Let your toes fall open. Bring one hand to your belly and one hand to your heart. Tuck the chin just a little bit. Find that little bit of a smile and celebrate all the times you chose to stay present instead of taking the bait. See if you can let go of all of the efforting now. And just allow yourself to let go. Having faith that you can let go just a little bit more and you won't fall apart. The same faith 
that you can let go of controlling everything and the world will not fall apart. Allowing this moment to be exactly what it is without your judgments, your expectations, your thoughts. Invite a deeper breath back. Feel your heart beating inside of your chest. See if you can marvel for a moment. Just at all the things that have to happen for us to exist here at all. See if you can find this sense of wonder, sense of innocence. See if you can let go just a little bit more of needing to know what's going on here, of needing to know everything or really anything. See if you can have faith that when you're connected, and you stay with your breath and you stay in this moment, that you don't need to have all the answers. But when you allow this energy to move through you, you'll just kind of know what to do next. You'll find yourself in this flow where things happen with ease, 
So as you start to bring movement back into the fingers and toes, see if you can create that childlike wonder and really experience that sensation of having a body as something other than a heavy burden. And as you roll onto either side, thank yourself for taking the time to get into this space. Now see if you can challenge yourself to see how long you can stay in this space. Whether that means you just stay seated on the floor at home doing nothing at all, or whether that means trying to interact with the world and work on that list you have from this place. When you're ready, we'll slowly come back up to a seat. Finding a comfortable cross-legged seat like we started. If you have an oil, I highly suggest rubbing some on your temples and not feeling guilty about it. Here, I'll do it for you. I've been doing that in my classes lately. It's kind of nice. Inhale the arms together. One more time. Exhale the hands to the heart. Lift the head out to the wisdom of the heart. Lift the thumbs to the space above the eyebrows. Take a moment. Thank yourself for showing up. The light in me honors and sees light in you. When we are in that place, we are one. Namaste. Oh, thanks, Chip. Thanks, man.